Create an emergency fund. Creating an emergency fund is an exciting step towards financial stability and security. It's like having a little insurance policy for yourself and your loved ones, just in case the unexpected happens. And let's be real, unexpected things happen all the time. Whether it's a surprise car repair or a sudden job loss, having an emergency fund can make all the difference in helping you weather the storm. So, how do you start building an emergency fund? It's actually pretty simple. First, determine how much money you want to have in your emergency fund. A general rule of thumb is to aim for at least three to six months worth of living expenses. Of course, the more you can save, the better. Next, figure out how much you can realistically set aside each month. This might mean cutting back on some expenses or finding ways to bring in extra income. Every little bit counts. Another option is to set up automatic transfers from your checking account to a separate savings account designated for your emergency fund. This way, you can set it and forget it and forget it and watch your fund grow over time. Once your emergency fund is established, it's important to leave it alone and only use it for true emergencies. It's not meant to be a piggy bank for non-essential expenses. Trust us, you'll be glad you have it when you really need it. So go ahead and start building your emergency fund today. It might take some time and discipline, but it's worth it for the peace of mind and financial security it provides. Get debt under control. Are you tired of feeling weighed down by debt? It's time to take control and get that debt under control once and for all. First things first, make a list of all your debts, including the creditor, interest rate, and minimum monthly payment for each. This will give you a clear picture of what you're dealing with. Next, prioritize your dealing with. Next, prioritize your debts based on interest rate. It makes the most financial sense to tackle the debts with the highest interest rates first, as they will cost you more in the long run. Now it's time to create a budget. Figure out how much money you have coming in and going out each month. Look for ways to cut expenses and redirect that extra money towards paying off your debts. You may also want to consider consolidating your debts into a single loan with a lower interest rate. This can save you money on interest and make it easier to keep track of your payments. It's also important to avoid taking on any new debt while you're working to pay off your existing debts. This might mean saying no to that credit card offer or finding alternative ways to finance a big purchase. Paying off debt can be a long and challenging journey, but it's so worth it to be free from that financial burden. Stay motivated by reminding yourself of the end goal and celebrating small victories along the way. You got this! Find support and resources. Before we get to that, I would like to introduce the sponsor of this video, The Frugal Living Handbook. Our comprehensive ebook covers everything you need to know about living a frugal and rewarding life, including creating a budget, identifying areas for cost cutting, and much more. Order our ebook via the first link in the video description and start your journey towards financial stability and security. Now, let's get back into the video. There are many support and resources available to help you get your finances on track. Here are some options to consider. Join a support group. Whether it's a local group or an online community, connecting with others who are also working to improve their finances can be a great source of motivation and support. Seek financial counseling. If you need more personalized help, consider working with a financial counselor or planner. These professionals can help you create a budget, pay off debt, or plan for the future. Utilize government assistance programs. If you're struggling to make ends meet, there may be government programs available to help with things like housing, food, and health care. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help. Use financial tools and resources. There are many free tools and resources available online to help with budgeting, saving, and investing. From apps to websites to educational resources, there's no shortage of options to choose from. Don't be afraid to ask for help when it comes to your finances. With the right support and resources, you can get your finances on track and build a brighter financial future. Build up your skills and education. Are you looking to give your career a boost or make yourself more competitive in the job market? One of the best ways to do this is by building up your skills and education. 
And the good news is there are plenty of ways to do this without breaking the bank. One option is to take online courses or earn certifications in your field. This can be a great way to learn new skills or deepen your expertise in a specific area. Many online learning platforms offer a wide range of courses at affordable prices, and some even offer financial assistance. Another option is to seek out opportunities for on-the-job training or professional development. Many companies offer training programs for their employees, or you may be able to negotiate for additional training as part of your job. You can also consider going back to school to earn a higher degree. While this can be a bigger commitment in terms of time and money, it can also lead to significant career advancement and higher earning potential. Don't let the cost deter you. There are often financial aid options available to help offset the cost of tuition. Investing in your education and skills is a smart move that can pay off in the long run. Keep an open mind and be proactive in seeking out opportunities to learn and grow. You never know where it might take you. Diversify your income streams. Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck and constantly worrying about your financial future? It's time to take control and diversify your income streams. Having multiple sources of income can provide a financial cushion and give you more stability and flexibility. Plus, it's a great way to hedge your bets and protect yourself in case of a recession or job loss. So, how do you go about diversifying your income streams? One option is to start a side hustle or freelance business in a field you're passionate about. This could be anything from freelance writing or graphic design to offering your services as a tutor or personal trainer. The options are endless. Another option is to invest in passive income opportunities, such as rental properties, dividend-paying stocks, or online businesses. While these types of investments require an upfront investment, they have the potential to generate ongoing income without requiring much ongoing effort. Don't be afraid to think outside the box and get creative. The key is to start small and build slowly and to stay consistent and dedicated. With a little effort and a lot of determination, you can create multiple streams of income and take control of your financial future. So go out there and make it happen. Cut expenses where you can. When it comes to cutting expenses, every little bit counts. Here are some practical tips for trimming the fat from your budget. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions. Do you really need that streaming service you never use or that monthly delivery of fancy dog treats? Be honest with yourself and cut out any subscriptions that you can live without. Shop around for the best deals. Don't just accept the first price you see. Take the time to shop around and compare prices on everything from groceries to car insurance. You might be surprised at how much you can save. Cut back on dining out and takeout. Preparing your own meals at home is almost always cheaper than eating out or ordering in. Plus, you have more control over the ingredients and can make healthier choices. Reduce your energy usage. Turn off lights and electronics when you're not using them. Invest in energy, efficient appliances, and make an effort to reduce your water usage. Not only will you save money on utilities, but you'll also be doing your part for the environment. Renegotiate your bills. Don't be afraid to negotiate with service providers for lower rates on things like your cell phone plan or internet service. Cut back on non-essential purchases. Be mindful of your spending habits and try to limit non-essential purchases such as clothes, beauty products, and gadgets. Consider setting a budget for these types of items and stick to it. Downsize your living situation. If you're paying more in rent or mortgage than you can afford, it may be time to consider downsizing to a smaller place or finding a roommate to split the costs. Sell unused items. Take a look around your home and see what you can sell. From clothes and accessories to furniture and electronics, there are likely many items that you no longer need or use that can be sold for extra cash. Use coupons and take advantage of sales. Keep an eye out for coupons and special deals and be sure to take advantage of them when you can. This can be especially helpful for big-ticket items like appliances or furniture. By implementing these strategies and finding ways to cut expenses in your daily life, you can free up more money to put towards your financial goals and build a stronger foundation for the future. Happy saving. Look for ways to save on taxes. We'll get to that in a second.
I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Saving on taxes is a smart way to keep more money in your pocket and stretch your budget further. Here are some tips for maximizing your tax savings, claim deductions, and credits. There are many deductions and credits available that can reduce your tax bill, so be sure to take advantage of them. This might include deductions for charitable donations, student loan interest, or business expenses. Contribute to a retirement account. Contributions to 401ks, IRAs, and other retirement accounts are often tax-deductible, and the money in these accounts grows tax-free. This is a great way to save for the future and reduce your tax burden at the same time. Keep track of your expenses. Proper record-keeping is key when it comes to claiming deductions and credits. Be sure to save receipts and other documentation for any expenses that might be tax deductible, such as business-related travel or charitable donations. Seek professional advice. If you're not sure what deductions and credits you're eligible for, or if you have a complex financial situation, it may be worth consulting with a tax professional or financial advisor. They can help you navigate the tax code and find ways to save. By keeping these tips in mind and being proactive about your taxes, you can save money and put more of your hard-earned cash towards your financial goals. Protect your assets. It's important to protect your assets and safeguard your wealth for the future. Here are some strategies for doing just that. Diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. By diversifying your investment portfolio, you can minimize risk and increase your chances of long-term success. Ensure your valuable possessions. Whether it's your home, your car, or your business, it's important to have insurance in place to protect your assets in case of unexpected events. Create a will or estate plan. Having a will or estate plan in place can ensure that your assets are distributed according to your wishes after you pass away. It can also help to avoid any disputes or confusion among your loved ones. Keep your financial documents organized. Make sure you have all your important financial documents, such as insurance policies, deeds, and account information, in a safe and easily accessible place. By taking these steps to protect your assets, you can feel more confident and secure about your financial future. It might take a little bit of effort up front, but it's worth it for the peace of mind and financial stability it provides. Stay positive and keep perspective. It's easy to get caught up in the stress and anxiety of financial struggles, but it's important to stay positive and keep things in perspective. Here are some tips for maintaining a positive outlook. Surround yourself with supportive people. Whether it's friends, family, or a support group, surrounding yourself with people who are supportive and understanding can make a big difference in your outlook. Practice gratitude. Focusing on the things you're grateful for no matter how small, can help to shift your mindset and keep things in perspective. Take breaks and practice self-care. It's important to take breaks and give yourself permission to relax and recharge. Whether it's taking a walk, reading a book, or indulging in your favorite hobby, make time for activities that bring you joy and help you distress. Keep your long-term goals in mind. Remember that your financial struggles are only temporary and that with time and effort, you can work towards a brighter financial future. By staying positive and focusing on the things that matter most to you, you can weather the storm and come out stronger on the other side. Congratulations on making it through this list of practical tips for surviving the next recession. Remember, building a strong financial foundation takes time and effort, but it's worth it for the peace of mind and financial stability it provides. Don't be afraid to seek help when you need it, and don't be discouraged by setbacks. Check the first link in the description for our Frugal Living ebook. It's never too late to start making smart financial decisions.